finally got some NBA 2K22 news, and we're hoping for the best, obviously. Um, we got some uh, good news about Park, some good news about the next-gen builder and the current-gen builder for your My Career player. Um, as you guys know, this is the old My Career player builder for NBA 2K21, and let's hope and pray it's nothing like this, bro, because there was some overpowered builds, and I'm just hoping that the game is balanced. I'm hoping that the game is pointing towards NBA 2K16 slash NBA 2K17 days, and I'm just hoping to push out the best content for you guys. So, yeah, we're going to get straight into the news. So basically, from what I've heard, and what, you know, the news that I've actually heard, um, NBA 2K22 has some good news. There could be a lot of potential if the builder is done right. Um, this could even be the best build system, like, ever, bro, in 2K history. Like, this could really be one of the best builders. Um, so, yeah. So the first thing that they did was they added 24-7 stage, which is really, really good for them comp tryer, you know, stage players, stuff like that. It's good to build your reputation up in the YouTube community. It's good to build your reputation up in the 2K community. So it's always good to have 24-7 stage. Um, another thing they did is patch 6, 7 demigods and balance the build system a lot. So you're not going to see, like, some centers, you know, being able to speed boost and stuff like that anymore. Like, speed glitching is out of the game, which is also very, very good. Um... As well, because you don't want to see six, seven demigods running around, bro. It, it's just so terrible for the game, and it just doesn't make people want to play the game at all anymore. Um, they also made the city a lot smaller because they wanted to make it easier to travel places. Because as you guys know, in next gen, the city was terrible. Like you literally took forever to get around the city. It took you like years to get around the city to go to the sh to closing stores to get anywhere, bro. To to transfer to another park, like it just took so long so another really really solid thing that they did for nba 2k21 um or 22 sorry about that is they added matchmaking if you struggle getting games in park so as you guys know there was not a lot of people on next gen um this following year for 2k21 next gen due to you know lack of getting the ps5 console lack of getting the xbox next gen consoles so, um, and also, honestly, the game wasn't as good as everybody was, you know, thinking. So, they added matchmaking because matchmaking is going to help you get into games immediately. Like, for example, when you guys are playing 3v3 Pro-Am, that's technically matchmaking. You're going to automatically get a game no matter what. So, if there's not a lot of players in park, it's going to do it. They, they added a matchmaking system to where you can get more games in park, which is actually really, really, really good. So, another thing that might actually be true, I don't know if it's true or not, but there might be a mall in NBA 2K22, which I think would actually be very, very dope. Um, because, as you guys know, in NBA 2K22, um, there should be a lot of stores, obviously. I'm just hoping it's not like NBA 2K21 next gen. Like, the strip mall was a little absurd. You had to go from, you know, one end to the other end to get to a certain store. It was crazy. But, let's be honest here. Um, I've heard that these this build system is more balanced than 21 next gen. Like, for example, you can get 40 in a category instead of 30 this year. Which gives um, incentive to specialize in one area, which is very, very good. Um, but honestly, like... Let's be honest here. The builder screen shows um, if you make a 6'6 six, six slasher, you can get a 99 dunk. If you make a 6'6 six, six sharp, you can get a 93 pointer. Um, the max ball the ball, the max ball handling for a 6'6 six, six player is an 88 ball handling. You cannot literally go in and upgrade every single stat. People are mad. Like people are getting mad for no reason. I don't know why. But yeah, so let's be honest here. Um I think that this game is 
is is really you know something that could have potential um because let's be honest here um if this doesn't do good then honestly i don't know what's gonna happen for the 2k community i really don't i really really don't what's don't know what's gonna happen but i hope it's just one of them games that i can literally stream for hours and not get bored a fun 2k to create content and i honestly just think that would be crazy and that would actually be so good bro um and honestly bro um current gen might not be the same as next gen so you might lose 99 overall everything might be different i'm not really sure but we'll see what actually happens um i'm hoping that we get new events um i'm just hoping that everything is good bro it's really really good but let's be honest here nba 2k22 next gen has to be a good year because a lot of people are going to try next gen that have the consoles and then they're going to try to switch back to current gen which is just going to be a, div a dividing between the whole community once again bro like it's going to divide the whole entire community it's going to make a lot of stuff happen um it's honestly like crazy bro so i've seen videos on twitter um if you guys go to at 2k intel's twitter you guys will see all of his latest videos on the glass cleaner lockdown builds he's been posting um and just a lot of people just leak in the game so let's be honest here you guys can go there you guys can actually see the new city you guys can see the build system um you can see a lot of stuff um so apparently um the new glass cleaner lockdown lockdown build is going to be overpowered which i'm hoping i'm really hoping that you know there's a lot of good center builds a lot of good um builds overall because like we need some balanced builds like we can't just have one build like as you guys know one build that was really really overpowered this year is a play shot they they had good shooting they had decent they had some some shooting fixes and then they did a hot patch this year they tried to make the shooting a lot harder but then they made it too difficult to shoot and the only people that were really able to shoot is people that made play shots because play shots were literally op as hell bro so honestly bro if they bring back the city they they have to make it smaller which is allegedly supposed to happen they're supposed to be having a mall in nba 2k22 which is literally insane don't get me wrong it's kind of insane um for current gen it's probably gonna be a little bit different from next gen in certain areas like the my player ability there's gonna still be pie charts obviously um in, in next gen there's not but um it should still be the similar kind of game um it's not gonna be a lot different from current gen to next gen this year as you guys know 21 current gen was literally a whole entire different game a different dribbling system a different shooting system everything was completely different they were hold two different games there was speed glitching in current gen there was no speed glitching in next gen like it was just a crazy crazy disaster with 2k21 overall so hopefully from what i've heard from mike mike wang's tweets from what i've heard from the community so far or what i've seen on twitter they patched six seven demigods they made the system more balanced it's supposed to be a good build system let's just honestly hope for the best um speed speed boost glitching is out of the game it's completely gone for next gen apparently allegedly all this stuff is alleged that doesn't mean it's true just because i've seen it that doesn't mean i know what's gonna happen as you guys know 2k drops leaks they drop news and sometimes it's not true you know what i mean so i wouldn't take this video completely seriously but most of the stuff is from liable sources so let's be honest here um supposedly from what i've heard 2k22 next gen is supposed to be the game of the year like it, it, it's supposed to be right but as you guys know in 2k21 they said that everybody was you know hyped everybody was happy to you know get on the game when it drops create content have fun you know it, w it was supposed to feel like nba 2k16 nba 2k17 days but it obviously didn't turn out that way and a lot of people switched back to current gen um, whoever didn't, shout out to them. They, them boys really toughed it out on next gen because I definitely switched back to current gen. But 
I just want to say, I hope this video guys helped you guys out a lot. Um, if you guys want to see any more news videos, or if you guys want to see any more news about NBA 2K22, like I said, just go on Twitter and just look up NBA 2K22 news. That's personally where I've got everything from. Um, I've had some of the stuff from um, Mike Wang. I've seen a couple tweets from him. Um, but most of the stuff is from um, PowerDF, so shout out to him. Um, a lot of different people. It's, it's just from a lot of different people on Twitter. Um, that I've seen so shout out to everybody on Twitter that's helping people with leaks and just shout out to 2k Intel because he's been a really big help um, for the community for the past you know however long he's been doing you know um, news tweets and stuff like that for 2k's he's the goat I ain't even gonna lie but I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like drop a sub turn on the post notifications and I will see you guys in the next video